Good morning everybody. Today we will be talking about hole number three at Tory Pines, which is a very difficult hole due to the big drop in elevation. So currently we're presented with a four to six mile an hour headwind coming in from the left. Not a direct headwind, but also coming in left to right and into our faces. So the hole is playing at 167 with 49 feet of elevation drop. So the hole is actually playing at about 150. What we want to do here is we want to use 150 but we know that the wind is going to push the ball back a bit. So we want to reduce the spin on our approach shot to give the ball a little bit extra flight. What we're planning to do is to aim the ball, land the ball in this region over here and hopefully get a few yards of roll towards the pin. Because the wind is definitely going to create a left to right momentum on the ball. Which is why we're aiming left and the wind is going to push the ball this way towards the hole. Last thing we need to do is try to hit the ding. Very close to the ding and as you can see immediately I've got a heartbeat. One sixty seven, ball carried one sixty nine total. And then we are left with a six foot putt for Birdie. So we'll have a look at the green. Definitely breaking right to left. The lines indicate that the ball is breaking right to left from the moment that it leaves the putter face. So we're going to aim outside the right edge, allow the ball to feed back towards the hole. Easy birdie. And that is how you can birdie hole number three at Tory Pines provided the conditions are good and your math is accurate. If you just follow some of the tips I've given you here, you'll have a much better chance of birding the hole. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the audio guide. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.